Welcome to Fully Charged. Now, this episode, contrary to initial appearances, is not specifically about mowing. We're going to cover mowing, but it's more about comparing the use of energy from one type of technology and another. Now, here on my right is the classic Hater Motif 53 petrol lawnmower. It's a four-stroke engine, about four horsepower, 3.5 to four horsepower. Petrol goes in there, it goes vroom. It's a classic mower, it's done enormous service. It's been mowing for many years, very reliable. It's not in tip-top condition, I'll admit that. It's a little bit knackered. On this side, we have the Bosch GRA 53 professional lawnmower. Now this really is built for things like uh, playing fields and parks and recreation grounds. So it's really to be used by professional mowers. You're looking at one here. Uh, this, this is a slightly heavier duty one than the Bosch domestic lawnmower. It has two batteries here. These are 36 volt, six amp hour batteries. They're currently charged to 100%. So how long could that mow on two full batteries in comparison with how long this could mow on the equivalent amount of energy in petrol? And here's how we work it out. This is how I've worked it out and I can't wait to read the comments. Okay, so one litre of petrol contains 7.4 kilowatt hours of energy. And the way we found this out is to use the British thermal unit. Now the British thermal unit was developed literally hundreds of years ago as a way of measuring energy output. And the way you, you measure the British thermal unit, it's lovely this, is it's the amount of energy required to raise one pound in weight of water, one degree Fahrenheit. Pounds and Fahrenheit, lovely old fashioned stuff. Obviously American viewers will be very familiar with that. We've moved on. We don't use pounds and Fahrenheit anymore. We use kilograms and Celsius. So it's the amount of heat needed to raise, and that's why I've got to check my notes, 0.45 kilograms of water by 0.56 degrees Celsius. That is a British thermal unit. Now it's a handy way of doing this conversion because obviously petrol and battery is very different, but this is one apples for apples comparison that we can do. We know that one kilowatt hour of energy that would be stored, say, in a battery, it contains 3,412 British thermal units. 3,412 BTU, that's what we'd call it. And we also know that one litre of petrol that you get in this mower contains 25,550 British thermal units. Incredible density of energy in petrol, hence its popularity. So the rest is just basic division. You divide 25,550 by 3,412 and you get 7.4 kilowatt hours. And that's how we know how many kilowatt hours of energy there are in petrol. So the batteries on this mower, each battery has got 0.21 kilowatt hours. So the two of them make 0.42 kilowatt hours. So getting on for half a kilowatt hour. So the equivalent amount of petrol to produce 0.42 kilowatt hours is 56 millilitres. Now, I don't know how much a millilitre is. Here's a clue. 56 millilitres is the equivalent of four and a half tablespoons of petrol. So how long is this lawnmower going to run on four and a half tablespoons of petrol? That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we're here to find out. Okay. So what I wanted to do there was make sure that this mower is really as empty of petrol as it possibly could be before I put in the uh, 56 millilitres of petrol to run it. And I think it's fair to say it's now run out of petrol. Well, one more go. It's out. So as we all know, um, fossil fuels, petrol, very, very toxic material, it's poisonous, it's highly inflammable, carcinogenic, all those things. So you can't be too careful when you're mucking around with petrol, especially you children. Don't muck around with petrol, it's dangerous. So I'm now fully protected. I'm gonna measure out 56 millilitres of petrol. 100 millilitres, I'll show you, is right down there. That's 100 millilitres. So we've got to do about half of that. I'll be generous. I'm going to be go, go on the. I'm going to err on the side of not caution. I'm going to pour this now highly toxic. Also, what's amazing is this fluid is millions of years old. So that is about. Oh my God! That is a hundred milliliters. <laughs> that's too much. I'll put some of that back because that's we don't want to go too far. So that has the energy equivalent of the two batteries that are on the Bosch mower. 50, 55 to 60 
milliliters. So that's, that's about as close as I can get. Okay, so now I've done the petrol mower, that lasted just over seven minutes. I'm now going to try the Bosch electric mower, the Pro mower, powered by batteries. Battery's fully charged, and I'm going to start now. Just listen to how noisy this is. Whoa, turn it down a bit. Ooh. This is going to take all day. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to do this first, do the top meadow, and then I'm just going to have to do the front lawn just to keep going. It's the only choice. So what this tells us very clearly is using batteries and electric motors is a far more efficient way of using energy. So now I've been mowing for 50 minutes and 26 seconds, and that's kind of enough for me. I'm a bit old and knackered. I can't be bothered to do it anymore. And I worked out, because I've got my Fitbit in my pocket, that I've actually walked over four miles uh, mowing, the, mowing grass. So, you know, it's, it's time for a sit down and a cup of tea. While I do that, I'll recharge the batteries. Now, I checked just now, the batteries are currently, that's very easy to get out, they're currently at 50%. So that tells me, that I could do two lots of 50 minutes of mowing, which is 100 minutes, which is long enough for anyone to do mowing. So I slide the, the, the battery in here, it's very simple, just push it in, and it starts charging. And then you just sit down and have a nice cup of cha. Oh, lovely. I'm not gonna have that much time to snooze because the batteries only take about 10 minutes to recharge if they're half full, probably 20 minutes if they're really empty. So within a few minutes, I was back on the front lawn. <laughs> 